good to know the Lord. It's good to know that He is the author and the finisher of our faith. It's good to know that He's going to stand by our side. Whatever may come and what goes, He's going to take care of it. Condition our, our spirit to the place that we'll know that that's true. I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Now that's a promise. You know, we're going to have to answer to God for what we do. We're going to have to answer to God for our lifestyle. We're going to have to answer to God for what we say. Whatever we do, whatever, wherever we go, we're going to have to give an account. There's an accountability in serving God. There's an accountability if you don't serve God. So if you haven't read the Old Testament, you need to start immediately and read through the Old Testament. It's the greatest story was ever told. When, when God spoke to Noah and told him what was going to happen in the future, it put a fear in his life. He, he heard what God said. You know, today I'm afraid a lot of people don't hear what God says. I'm afraid when, they, when the word goes so over the pulpit that a lot of people don't really hear what it's saying. We've been warned of God of things coming to pass. Many times uh, through prophecy, through speaking in tongues and interpretation, God has spoken to the church and told the church that things were going to happen. If you go into the scripture and read the scripture in the New Testament, especially the book of Revelation, you'll find that things are going to get tough. And if you're not prepared, where nobody is going to go to heaven accidentally. The devil is always on your shoulder, whispering in your ear, and trying to tell you that it ain't going to work. You know, Peter, when he right, went over to the house of Cornelius and was speaking to them, the Bible says, while he yet spoke the word, the Holy Ghost fell upon them and they spoke in other tongues. Nobody told them anything about it. You know, I believe today we know too much about things and we doubt it. You know, somebody's whispering in our ears and said, it's supposed to be this way. Somebody over said, no, it's this way. Somebody back there said, no, this is the way to do it. So many voices speaking to you and telling you the way to do it. But I tell you, we need to do it like the scripture says. Repent and be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That tells me that it's an absolute thing if you would really repent, really repent. If you move with fear as Noah was, when God warns you about something, if you begin to have the fear of God in your life, then you're going to receive God's blessings. If we have faith in Him, if we really believe there's a God, if we really believe that God is, has all power, then we're going to certainly uh, humble ourselves down and respect God for everything that He does for us. It's knowing that God is going to lead you in the right direction. It's knowing that God is going to take you where He wants you to go. It's knowing that God has them everything under control. We can't control it. Nobody in this whole world has got the answer. You can, you can go to Washington and ask all the politicians. They don't have the answer. You can go overseas and ask all the people overseas and they don't have the answer. Who has the answer? There's number one, God is the only one that has the answer.